Hey everybody, Norm from Test.com here at CES 2016 at the Razer booth. Travis uh, with Razer here to show us the new Razer Blade Stealth. You guys have made a bunch of notebooks before, but this one is actually an Ultrabook, straight up Ultrabook, but a little bit different. Yeah, it's really exciting. It's the world's first Ultrabook for gamers. Um, it has an Intel Core i7 processor, but it's very thin and mobile at only 0.52 inches thin. Yeah, so the form factor obviously looks, you know, as you would expect from an Ultrabook, like you said, half an inch thick, um, fairly light. Uh, the screens sort of about UHD resolution, um, and Intel, it, oh, it's, it's going to run Intel U processors, core, like the Core i7 U processors. That's all pretty standard for Ultrabooks, so what are the unique features of the Blade Stealth? Great question. So we have the world's first individually lit chroma keyboard. So each key is individually lit and can, can be configured up to 16.8 million colors as well. Um, the display, as you mentioned earlier, it's a 4K screen on the higher end model. Um, and that supports 100% Adobe RGB, so great color spectrum. And you have, of course, your USB ports and HDMI out. It's an Ultrabook, so it's integrated uh, graphics. But if this is an Ultrabook for gamers, how are you going to get better graphics on this? Great question. So we also have the Thunderbolt port, which via USB Type-C, you can connect it to the new Razer Core, which is an external graphics enclosure um, that's powered through Thunderbolt 3. So this is a really interesting accessory. It's an external graphics card. You guys aren't selling the graphics card yourselves, but it's an enclosure. What comes in the enclosure? So the enclosure has a 500 watt power supply um, and the slot to install the GPU and some additional cooling in it as well. Also on the back of it is a port replicator, so you have uh, additional USB ports and Ethernet as well. So you can really transform the Ultrabook into a full desktop gaming experience. So the idea is that you would have this Ultrabook in your backpack, you take it to work, and then at home you would have the core. Um, you said some cooling, is it just uh, air cooling? And is, or is there water cooling potential? So it currently supports air cooling from the bottom and pushes heat up through the unit. Yep. And then uh, it supports NVIDIA and ATI cards. Uh, when you have the, the uh, USB-C connection, the Thunderbolt 3, pass through here, you're going to get that graphics rendering, basically, the potential on the display, on the 4K display here. Can you also plug in external monitors? Exactly. So on the back of it, you can plug and drive all the multi-monitor setups that you want. So Thunderbolt's a two-way communication streak. So you can either drive the internal display or external displays as well. And as well as data, USB data, and stuff like that. So you don't actually have to plug any of your peripherals into your Ultrabook. You can have it plugged to a monitor. You can have all your, your mouse and keyboard on this. This basically replaces your desktop. It's a exactly. miniature desktop on your desk, and you can still have this computer at work. Um, and then this computer is shipping now. What are the configurations? So we've got a couple options. We have the 4K panel and also a uh, Quad HD panel as well. Um, the models all have PCI Express SSD, and it's starting at only $999 for an Intel Core i7 processor. Really exciting. So it's a 6500U processor across the board as, as a base start price. Uh, 1000 bucks. you get a PCIe 128 gig, and that gets upgradable to how much? Uh, you can go up to 512. Yep. 512. Uh, so that unit shipping uh, this month, and then what about the Razer Core? So the Razer Core is coming in first half of this year, so we'll have more information very soon. Awesome. Is this, you see, this as uh, being the future for Razer laptops and devices in, in terms of the, the modularity of it? Uh, it's definitely one way that we like to go, but gamers game in a lot of different ways. So some people want to game on the go, so we also have our Blade 14-inch notebook and also our 17-inch Razer Blade Pro as well. You guys will still be making those and exactly. still be making integrated full-on graphics. Uh, but if you want something that's upgradable, this can also work. Yep, exactly. Awesome. Thanks so much, Travis.